The title of this story is James and the Kindergartner. The Lion and the Mouse Remixed. Meaning, a new version of the story. Written by Connie Miller. And illustrated by Victoria Asanali. It was recess time. James's favorite time of day. He loved to sit under the big oak tree and read his dragon books. Today, the sun was warm. A breeze brushed over him. James held the open book on his lap. He felt himself getting sleepy. Then he nodded off. When James woke up, His pesky little sister Claire was standing beside him. A group of kids from Claire's kindergarten class stood behind her. James pretended that he was still asleep. What was Claire up to this time? Claire whispered to her friends. Watch this. She pulled a marker from her pocket and poised herself to draw a mustache on James's face. Before she could make a mark, James grabbed his sister's wrist. What are you doing, Claire? Claire jumped in surprise. Nothing, she replied. But James knew better. You are going to write on me, he said. I think I will take you to the principal's office. Claire's eyes widened. Please, don't tell the principal, James. It was just a joke. James was annoyed. Claire begged. If you let me go, I will help you one day. James laughed. How could you help me? You're only a kindergartner. But James let her go. After school, James didn't wait for Claire. He usually walked home with his little sister. Today, he was still mad at her. James pulled out his dragon book and read as he walked. About a block from school, there was a large branch on the sidewalk. James didn't see it. 
Ouch! He tripped. His book went flying. He stumbled off the sidewalk and rolled into the bushes. James couldn't get up, no matter how hard he tried. His backpack was stuck on something. He was just about to yell out for help when he heard small footsteps. He looked up. It was his annoying sister, Claire. She'll probably laugh at me, he thought. Claire, will you help me? James asked. To his surprise, Claire reached into the bush and freed James. Now, where's my book? James asked. Here it is, Claire yelled. She had found it under a low bush. James was too tall to have seen it there. James didn't feel angry at his sister anymore. He smiled and said, Thanks, Claire. I guess you were right. Small friends can be a great help. This is the same story as the lion and the mouse. What happened in the story was once upon a time, there was a lion. The lion was taking a nap. A small mouse began to run up and down the lion, annoying him. The lion awoke and grabbed the mouse in his great paw. The mouse begged the lion, Please, spare my life. One day I will help you. The lion thought this idea was funny. He didn't believe the mouse could ever help him. The mouse was too small. But one day, hunters caught the lion in a trap. They used ropes to tie him to a tree. While they went to get a metal cage. Just then, the little mouse happened by. He gnawed away at the ropes until the lion was free. The moral of the story is Little friends can be great friends. This was written by Aesop.